You know why you're here. Let's begin. My name is Sergeant Young, and I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown of what it was like to be a recruit in the United States Marine Corps. I went through recruit training in 2017, so it might be a little bit different now, even you know with COVID and all that stuff. But um, upon arrival there, you hop off the bus, and there's a drill instructor there, and they're giving you the quick rundown, like, hey, welcome to Paris Island, and yada, yada, yada. And then if you stand on the on yellow footprints, and that's the one time that you ever do so. And they escort you inside where you do a whole bunch of uh, admin related stuff, right? Then once you're all checked in, they make you do that one phone call. And it's it's crazy. I remember doing it and I was just like stuttering the whole time because you're like screaming at your, hurry up, make that phone call, you know? And then it's like a little template in front of you, in front of a little call box where it's like, my name is Recruit, blah, blah, blah. I've properly checked into Marine Corps Station San Diego or Paris Island, whatever the case, right? And then um, you just hang up, and you go back to your desk, you sit there, it's quiet. When I say quiet, I mean the little room that you're in sitting is quiet. You can hear the drill instructors screaming at recruits that are just making that phone call, you know, hurry up, the same, the same thing, just, just on repeat. Followed by that, you, you get that buzz cut. All the males go through this period where they cut all your hair off. And I remember my situation was I kind of zoned out. I was standing in line and um, I just zoned out. And this drilling stretcher came up on me and he just, he was maybe an inch away from my face. And he started screaming at me and a whole bunch of spit just flew in my face. And I was like, personally in my head, I was like, what the hell did I just get myself into? You know, like I was like, I messed up. I should not have done this. I'm not cut out for this. All those things were playing through my head like, damn, I should have kept my day job. But there was no going back at that point. Followed by getting your, your bus cut, you go into a room and you do a lot more paperwork. So much paperwork. After they drain you out, I'd say, I don't remember the, the time period for this. Maybe a day later or so, they start asking you questions about, like, um, did you do any fraudulent stuff on your paperwork to get here? And everybody is told to put their head down in the desk. So if somebody did raise their hand to say, yes, I, I falsified my documents to get here, nobody would see who they were. But in my case, nobody, nobody, you know, raised their hands to say they had false documents. So I can't say what that process is like if something like that were to happen. After all the admin stuff is done, you meet your so-called handlers. These are the uh, drill instructors that take you where you need to be in that initial week to, you know, get like your clothing, your boots, your rifle, your um, medical shots, so all the vaccines that you would get, you know, and now included is that COVID vaccine. So all those medical stuff that you have to get situated with, all the clothing stuff that you have to get situated with, all the gear that you would need to be sustained throughout your entire period of recruit training. Those guys, those handler guys would take you through and be like your introduction to your actual recruit training itself. After you're all squared away, you get introduced to your actual drill instructors. It's a cool process. They have you sit down in the squad bay and then um, they walk up and then the senior gives you a spiel about how you will never give up in you and he won't allow you to fail. Stuff like that. It's a cool little moto speech that he gives at the beginning of the actual training. Followed by that, it's a lot of drill. You drill everywhere. You go in a chow, you drill. You go in a church, you drill. You go into a class to get some knowledge in your brain, you drill. You go into the gun range to shoot, you drill. So that is just the thing. You drill everywhere. For us, our barracks were was exactly half a mile away from the chow hall. And you went to the chow hall three times a day. So in total, every day we marched a minimum of three miles. Because it's half a mile to go, half a mile to come back. And you do that three times a day, every single day. And honestly, I feel like that was the easiest part of the entire training was the, the drill. Because I actually liked it. And um, I didn't really feel like I was fatigued or anything like that while I was drilling. Because I actually liked the entire thing. The only negatives of drill was if we messed up, you know, you get IT. You throw you in the freaking sand pit have you do stupid exercise in the sand pit and then when you're done you have sand all over your body you can't brush it off so you have sand on you for the whole day 
just rubbing against your skin and it's it sucks that's the <laughs> i say that's the part that sucks the most getting it'd when you're actually trying and then somebody else in the platoon is just gaffing it off so there's a part of our recruit training where you actually go to the pool to swim to do your swim qualifications and what i've seen throughout my entire four years in marine corps is mostly african americans fail it happens in the fleet and it also happened while i was in recruit training uh there was a few black guys that failed because you know they're just denser and they sink um i'm from jamaica so growing up i was always in the water so for me it was it wasn't really an issue for me to do all the the requirements in the pool but um a few of the friends that i made in recruit training got dropped because of it so that is the one thing that i could say to you in preparation for recruit training is make sure you get at least you know tread water because it's going to become an essential piece of passing that test so the one thing that my entire platoon was looking forward to was getting our rifle qualifications but prior to that you go through a thing called grass week where they teach you how to manipulate your weapon properly to effectively land shots on target and after you do that you go to range week and you get your qualifications right then and there followed by that i remember going to the gas chamber and man was that a dreadful experience <laughs> i have pictures of of me running out of there because i ended up going through twice so that sucked um i don't know how much more time is left in the video here i sure as hell didn't cover everything that you go through in uh, recruit training but this is just a gist of what you actually go through because for me i'm just going to be doing a series of videos on this topic because when i went through recruit training i knew nothing right i didn't i didn't talk to anybody about it i didn't know who to talk to about it i didn't know what to expect so i'm just putting these things here for anybody that's interested in actually joining the and wondering what it's going to be like during recruit training um that's it uh sergeant young and i'm out have a good one